everybody, welcome back. Where are we playing? You know where we're playing. <laughs> you can re catch the boot. <laughs> oh, there you go. This is true arrow. This and now I want to go back and save. Yeah, this is a really good directional shard to have at this point. I'm sorry, this is, yeah. This it is really true. is. I was more partial to Bone Toss because it reminded me of the axe, but this is going to be more experimental with my shards on average. Like I said earlier, I accidentally went to the Thrashing Tentacle. It's a directional shard. Right. You just want to give it a whirl before you recharge your MP. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you got to sit in the chair. You only got to do it once. <laughs> you didn't save the game, by the way. Uh, I never <laughs> heard its moan. Well, regardless, let's save. <laughs> gonna play this game later on the PS4. Like, John, who's dogs? <laughs> 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 Matthew! <laughs> Oops. Nice shot, Tex. I think he also drops a particularly <laughs> really helpful long weapon. You bullets and you missed with them all. <laughs> this is the Zangetsu room, right? Yeah, this is the Zangetsu boss fight. Show me there was no boss fight. You lied to me. Stop right there. Hi, Snake. I knew what you are. That ghastly air about you. you I know. only hear Snake. That, right. Cause, because it is his Snake voice. Right. You know, because you hear David Hayter's natural speaking voice. And yeah, he's kind of deep, but not yeah. Snake deep. Um, I'm here to appear at the Canadian Fan Expo. Um, cool. Say hello to some of the people and hang out and eat in the restaurants and drink Canadian beer and get a, some what timbits is, from my daughter. What is, so you know he has to actively put that voice on. But it's also like for this performance, it's like, yeah, I really like your Snake voice. Can you just do your Snake voice? Oh, boy. Hand to hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, that's Greg Eagles, I think it was the name. Yeah, so this is Angetsu, and uh, he can catch you off guard. Like He's going to catch me off guard because uh, I am not you know, prepared for this. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, fucking Sakurai is like, hey, uh, you want to use some of the snake sounds that I have? <laughs> he, uh, it's not so much that he's hard to get a read on, it's that his attacks really hurt. They, um, it looks like it. And though. I would say the best strategy for this one, obviously, is to take advantage of the 2.5D setting. And what I mean by that is that if you jump over him repeatedly, like an attack his back, yeah. he has to spend some time turning around to face you. And while he's turning around, you can jump over him again <laughs> and just keep laying the attacks over. Obviously, there are a couple of attacks you still have to keep an eye on for right here. Like when he's goading you to attacking him. He's ask. Uh, he's gonna. He's gonna get ready to counterattack you. Uh, his uh, his katana can parry pretty much every projectile that you throw at him. And that wow. is a counterattack. Matt was very fortunate enough to be inside right. his hitbox <laughs> to avoid that. So that was actually pretty incredible. Uh, but basically, this is the entire fight. He will turn around to swing at you. He'll do an uppercut, which is pretty easy to avoid. That is the big slash. That will knock you across the room if it hits yep. you. Uh, and that's it's pretty it's pretty dangerous. And then he does that uh, something something in he says something in Japanese. I don't know what it is, but I like to think of it as like uh, Akuma's like uh, dash attack. It, go it pretty much goes past him. He's looking to get behind you. Just attack from behind. Yeah. Uh, it, it only he only counters if you attack from the front. Okay. This is um this is random when he decides to do this because sometimes he doesn't always do this. Right. He's powering up his blade. That means the the sword's gonna hurt a lot more. So don't get hit. This is the grapple attack. He clings to the ceiling and then does a drop attack immediately after. Uh, this is the entire fight, though. We've pretty much seen the entire fight. Right. Uh, so now Matt just needs to, you know, continuously jump over him. And kick him in the Kick head. him in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> and then just watch. And there you go. And I won. I kind of like how he has the echo effect when, <laughs> when he's moving. Uh, here we go. <laughs> sounds, like, sounds like you got a nagging wife. Tell you, our enemies are the demons and those in league with them. Tomato, tomato. The alchemists were the gunmen. Are you hungry? Tommy does the wrong thing. Dismantled. In the case of the alchemists, you are right. They coveted the powers of hell and must pay for it. But Miriam is not like them. She is fighting for us at great personal. Did you kill all of the shard miners? <laughs> yes, but they were all bad. I forget how many of our friends perished for similarly misplacing their faith. And do I look as Jesus weak? Christ, I just hear like, it's his snake voice. When's he when's when's right. Fox die gonna happen? Yeah. When's Fox die happening? Need to put a stop to Alfred. And make me <laughs> Neener, Neener. Pumpkin Neener. Then stay out of my sight. He's just man, I kicked him in the There's head. thing though, there is a little oddities with David Hayter's performance here because mm -hmm. it's a snake voice, but there's still an accent. Because yeah. I believe uh, Zangetsu, he hails from Japan. Yeah. yeah. So I think there's a slight attempt, attempting a slight Japanese accent, but it's very on and off. Never mind. I've been through worse. 
thus far we really haven't been worse through worse than him. You, Miriam, and nothing anyone says could ever sway that trust. Oh, oh thank you. It's nice to know that I have someone on my side. Zangetsu is a demon hunter from a land far to the east. The mythical place of Japan. <laughs> Japan. <laughs> I think I'm pronouncing that right. Second to none. Uh, I hold on. Let me see what it said again. J Pan. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was me kicking him in the butt. I mustn't leave Anne alone for too long. I'm probably going stir crazy right now. Probably boring. The the granny's boring her to death with her stories. <laughs> I'm so hungry. We know. <laughs> <laughs> it's your only character. Take. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna. When I was a young, save and go right back. Save. When I was a young strapping lass like you, <laughs> a dreadful rag. I ate three times as much as I do now, and I'm a fucking glutton by today's standards. <laughs> but that doesn't compare to this one boy I met in Japan who ate five topsicles. Bottomless hole, <laughs> Margaret. They called me. <laughs> Better than Glory Hole. G <laughs> like, I was gonna say, are you sure that's the that's better than I'm Glory Hole Gwenda? <laughs> Glory <of> Gloria. <laughs> Gloria. <laughs> now that I've had my little safety save. They didn't call me Vacuum Valerie for nothing. <laughs> Valerie the Vacuum. Holy shit! <laughs> I sucked and blowed. <laughs> Darn, can't get up there. Piss off, ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Ectoplasm. Yeah, we want to. We, we do want to climb the chandelier because there is a max health here. Right. There's also with the ghosts, they drop ectoplasm. Helpful in the mid. Helpful later in the game when you need to dissolve shit. Their alcohol is used as the primary um, decomposing agent. Yeah, that's the only thing I don't like about uh, dismantling items because a lot of them require a lot of alcohol. Yeah. And I don't know if there's a reliable way to farm that shit. Or can you buy it? Ooh, that's a one-shot. I'm kind of liking this, but I'm liking this shard now. Yeah, dude, I love True Arrow. True Arrow, like, early in the game is really good. I, re I later replace it with Tep's Oseus, uh, the lightning strike, which we'll, we won't see for a little bit, but we will I know. I've, it I've used it, too, but I've also used the fire columns a lot more. Yeah. Well, my only problem with Tep's Oseus is that she screams she the fucking attack She'll scream the name for every attack, so... Yeah. Tep's Oseus. Yeah. It's a lightning attack. Oh, you, you gotta ignore the ammo capacity? Did I know? Oh, I did. Yeah. What about Grandpa? <laughs> what about Grandpa? <laughs> I think that's a saving to the right. No, no, I, no, I think it's a side quest room. Yeah, it's the dude. This dude gets lost all the fucking time. I think, yeah. I think his side quest is one I never finished. Yeah, because here's the thing. He wants to get back home, so you give him a waystone. Uh, pretty much this game's version of the library card. And uh, you can send him home with a waystone. Unfortunately, he never gets it's it It's Paris, right. yeah. yeah. Yeah, she is, fr she is French. You were saying, Johnny? Oh, wait. <sighs> Wait, because is, is she from Paris? Because I always took that as a joke. Because she's, because it, it always seemed like she was hesitant on that answer. Because I, I remember her dialect saying, "Oh, uh, Paris." <laughs> well, the way I see it, because like she, because he mentioned the decorations on her body. Yeah. It's like she didn't know how to actually like, uh, oh, yeah. actually like describe 1700. it. Eh. But like, I feel like she, she is from Paris. But it's like, it's like I, this happened in Paris. This is one of these kind of rooms where these monsters spawn Book all the time in them. Oh boy, bookshelf. Ulfbert. Ulfbert. Okay. The like physical attacks. That you do that with your katana weapons. Yeah. That's nice, but I don't care. That's what Zengetsu does with his sword. Uh, and it, it is it is good for blocking projectiles if you have to go against an enemy that's really heavy on them. More often than not, you're not. So it's nothing uh, nothing get too worked up about. In my oh. case, it's all martial arts. So. Fireballs. I'm all about the hooyah hi hoes of karate. <laughs> yeah, amen to that. Nice crit. Couldn't watch as I repeatedly kick this guy in the dick. That's what martial arts is when you think about it. No, that's a, that's nice. a, that's a MMA. I was hoping he would have. I was hoping he would have dropped the shard. The shard is great to farm these guys in too. So uh, I believe time. the lion dude drops an augment shard. He does. Which, which, That's what I'm trying to show off. Does it increase? Oh, you might, if you want to grind for a bit, it's not going to take that long. Right, right so we'll be Knowing back. Knowing your RNG. Ooh, scale armor. Ooh, scale armor. Yeah, that actually is. I think that would be better. It's in a this step case. up from here. Well, here's the thing. You're going to have to choose whether or not you want to go with raw defense or additional intellect and mad mind in this case. I This is the only time where I have to get a little flaky with my armor choices, considering I do use magic a lot to compensate for my lack of reach. Long sword. Long sword. So, okay, so in this case, what... We're cutting at this point, by the way. Um, well, I had a question. Oh, yeah. sorry. <laughs> ask, it, ask it now. 
In, in in terms of this, what what are what's mind and intellect for them? Spells. One is mind is uh I believe magic defense, intellect is magic attack. Okay. Cause like a lot of times I never actually knew like what they would be for in RPGs. Strong intellect, I want to say, is what the, is what raises the high this but the potency of your spells. Mind is uh, defense against spells. Okay. No, but there's also concentration. I don't remember what that does. I don't either. Sorry, I'm actually since we're just cutting. one last yeah, trip actually, down the line. Since, since we're cutting, no, no, we, we can cut until you get the shard. I don't want to waste all that time. Spiral sword, I got it. Nice, Johnny. I got that sword. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I can't show hey, it John. off though. Hey John. Hey John. John, John, I got the <laughs> sword. Look, look, I got the sword. I got the sword. John, Daddy. John, look, look, look at me. I got it. <laughs> like it's whipped by a bus. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> no, I'm being an idiot. We're going to move on if, I don't, if he don't drop it, because I can just get it from the um, I'm glad line of first I'm glad I can do that, because you're the only one like, who like, get that. Huh? I, I love it. What? I'm going to make that noise. <laughs> Well, at least I got a couple okay. more of those grunts for later. We'll just keep moving. You want to keep moving? Yeah. Okay. No uh, luck with it for now, but we'll go back for that shard another in time. In the meantime, I can tell you right now what all the stats do individually. As we're going through here, we actually... As we enter the Dying Cut Cathedral. Actually, and we want to be careful. There's an enemy here that can be really big. Uh, so there's the attack stat, which is pretty much, you know, exactly what it sounds like. The yes. Default damage value of offensive maneuvers. Uh, Strength determines performance with me melee weapons, specifically. So strength is for melee weapons. Oh, boy. Uh, intelligence determines performance with magic spells. Luck is, you know, influences drop rates and items. Defense, uh, the amount of physical damage taken. Uh, constitution, sorry, it's not concentration, it's constitution. Okay. Is your max HP. Okay. Uh, mind influences the amount of magic damage taken, so that's magic defense. Okay. Uh, and uh, that's it. There you go. We may be getting our first death in the game if I'm careless. Oh, boy. Yeah, because there is a there is a demon here that is quite a HP sponge, and she really hurts, and she can curse you. And uh, curse in this game uh, has your, your HP and your MP uh, temporarily, but it's like still a death sentence it, kind it, of thing. It's, it sucks big time. So we're gonna try to avoid pissing her off, but I will have to kill her at some point. The Dying Cut Cathedral is one of my favorite set pieces in the game, though. Oh, here? Yeah. Poltergeist. All right. Uh, this, uh, the Poltergeist, let's see if Matt is fortunate enough to get... Okay, we didn't. Uh, Poltergeist Shards, Welcome Company, is one of the best shards in the game. Yeah. Like, easily. It's, a pure defense. it's purely defensive, but it also Damn, helps me in a close style. Yeah, it, it is really good. Like, if you remember the uh, the whole the Bible sub-weapon from Castlevania... That's what it, it is. It is that on steroids. Like, easily. Like, and uh, it's like, it's ridiculous when fully powered up. Hey. So you max those grades out and get the top rank. It's one of the best shards in the game. Easily. That's, this, the this, that's this her. It's a shortcuts. And basically, it's exactly what they sound like. Uh, by holding down, I think in PS PS4, it's L2. Yeah, it's yeah. L2. Uh, you can assign different gear sets to shortcuts. And this is actually really helpful if you want to switch to certain shards on the fly. Mm -hmm. It's that's kind cool. of a pain in the ass uh, if you want to, like, just do different equipment. I would just normally hold it for different shards and not so much different equipment. Because you have to actively equip different things if you want to, like, switch the shortcuts all the time. It's a pain in the ass. She's over there, by the way, that yeah. monster demon, okay, so... I just wanted to just ignore her for now. Yeah. The Killer Barbers. Look a they little drop more... They dropped a pretty good shard. They dropped a nifty shard for it. I don't bit. remember what the Killer Barbers dropped. Big ass scissors. Yeah. <laughs> That's the name of the shard. <laughs> this is big ass. Oh, we got to find out right now. Oh, it's an augmentation, oh, it's an augmentation, it's an augmentation shard. shard. Okay. Oh, this is one for uh, striking weapons, I think. Yes. Yeah. This is for daggers and rappers. Okay. Helpful, but if you're if you're using them, I'm not. And that tiny cord over there, we're gonna need a certain shard to bypass. Right. I'm not gonna get it for a bit. These reflective panels are also the same shard, so. Which sucks to be me now. Not right anytime. Because I can't sharp just yet. I don't like it so much because it's a little awkward to do. This is adorable. Oh, I love it. And this. it's also one of the best shards in the oh, game. Oh, that's fucking cute. Uh, the, uh, the 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 Nia Bond. Because right. it's, it's a play on Nian. I'm they are that. so fucking cute. And I'm getting that shard, so we're cutting. Uh, what shard is it? It's a fire tower shard. Oh, okay. And I want it. 
Got it. Nice. Nice. Not too long at all. Yeah, so I, I, I want to say all the pet demons. Riga Storama. All the pet demons in this game are based off of either Kickstarter pets or developer pets. Oh, I want that shard on me right now. Oh, give it to me. <laughs> give it to me, Daddy. <laughs> yeah, it is a conjure shard. So you can press with the triangle. Rigatoni. Oh, sweet. I got the devil, too. Yeah. That's like, man, your RNG is almost supernatural. Intellectual boost. That's going to up my magic, which I'm going to want. You're a demon. <laughs> <laughs> by the by, fun fact with these things. If you max these out with the... Uh, if you max out the rank, it becomes a passive shard. You can equip offhand. That gives you more ability to equip other shards you want to mess with and experiment with. Ooh, I did not know that. Right. Nine, if you get it up to rank 9, it becomes a passive shard. Or oh. something for New Game Plus easily, then, because I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that a lot. <laughs> oh. I like the, the fun, a nice little uh, attention to detail. Those demons will utter the same exact choruses you'll utter. Yeah. When you do to some of the spells. Incantations. Incantations, yeah. That is cool. Dance Mask. Intellect plus one, defense plus one, and my mind goes down one, but, you know, that's a that's fair trade That's not too bad. It's a fair trade off. Take the elf ears on. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> the guild has been abandoned by yet another patron. Damn, they're running out of luck. Yeah, you get some backstory for certain characters by. And I believe we're about to meet Johnny's favorite character, and honestly, one of mine. Yeah, the, bar the, the good barber. Sweeney Todd. What's the Dominique portrait Demon. in the back? Wait, I'm a good killer barber. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you know, aside from all those bad <laughs> killer barbers. Cutthroats all say as much. <laughs> 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 scissors. They've cursed me to become a demon. Then why not cast them aside? No shit, stupid. Cast them aside? If I could take them off, I wouldn't be cursed. Duh. <laughs> you walked into that one, Miriam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucker. And the only way my curse will be lifted is if I barber my way through six hundred. Also, the demon I barber. Wonder if of course, it's six six six. Also, the demon barber is named Todd. I wonder if that's <laughs> true. <laughs> ah, that's funny. What do you mean? Can you get like 666 no, different combinations? there's not that many in the game. Dang. I, I, th I thought about that too, and I, I was like, no, it's unfortunately just a story element. That was the worst curse ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah like this, this was way. back before like, the yeah. devil knew what it meant to curse somebody. <laughs> Can you help me find information about hairstyles? I'll cut you for free. That is not an enticing offer. No, 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 not, not cut you, cut it. I love this. You look like you could rip me into a hundred pieces. Where's I just kick you multiple times? Right? All right, you have a deal. So let's get ourselves fifty up. <laughs> You're wearing the helmet though, <laughs> so you really can't see. I mean, you can, you can, but he's just like just a bit. Yeah, so our, our catalog is not big at first. You will find additional hairstyles, though, as you continue to explore the castle. And some of them look really good. Uh, I wish you had more hair colors, though. That's my one downside, but yeah. you make do with what you got. Yeah, I ended up rocking the red hairstyle, similar to what Matt just chose right now. You can actually change your costume color, too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of things you can customize. But again, I wish you had more hair colors. Ooh, white hair. Nice. White, pink. I'm feeling the pink right now, but maybe the blonde to compliment. Yeah, there we go. Just Wait. for now. And this is the subcolor, which okay, I you Marie you too. had the white. Uh, there you, you can also you can also suddenly become albino, African American, Alien. green, <laughs> Martian manhunter. <laughs> like when you had the uh, white hair, you you actually looked. The, uh, Miriam actually looked like this uh, character in this anime. These are just contacts, so I'm fine with that. <laughs> uh, Miriam looked like this character from Seven Deadly Sins. I forgot her name. I never watched that. Ouch. But you, but you know the Shit. show. I, I know what you're talking about, but I never like. I never really watched that. I know the show you're speaking yeah. of, but I never watched it. Yeah. I only watched a few episodes, but it's like, meh. Damn. Boop. <laughs> I believe they drop a poison breath for you. Like, um, every time we go to a bookshelf, it's kind of like waiting for the DVD logo to hit the corner. This is a warp room? Yes. So we'll be taking this back to the town, then we're going to cut back. So we're going to cut here, go to the town, see what, we can, see what new shit we can make up, and then we'll be back. We're gonna get some back score. Oh yeah, cowboy hat kind of throws me off here. I don't know. I was just wondering if you remember the fucking hat. That I don't. 
Um, we're way past the point to get it as a drop. Right. But um, are we cutting at this point? Mm. We can shut us off if you want. Yeah. We're just going to come back in just a little before when he started talking about Alfred. Okay. To be quite honest, but I have no respect for that now. Why? Because he fought against sacrificing you right to the final moment. Only to change his mind like a coward. You puss. <laughs> coward. <laughs> Uh, you want to uh, since um, since we yeah. never, we, I was waiting for Matt to hopefully get the stone mask drop as a as a drop. But what now? Uh, but, uh, the stone mask. It's it's an uh, item you can get from one of the Mordes, I believe, uh, early on. Right. And it's a JoJo reference. Um, well, I mean, it's, it's also like Symphony of the Night reference because Symphony of the Night also had JoJo uh, references. Uh, but uh, if you take a gander at Miriam's up animation, because Castlevania characters would have these, uh, uh, starting with uh, I want to say Portrait of Ruin. Mm -hmm. uh, if you hold up on the D pad with Miriam after uh, Matt talks to her. The girl. Good work. Hemp. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Good shit. They're bringing Dean for that side quest. And oh, Obsidian. Simon. No, not Simon. Obsidian. You know, you can take the rest of these. Yeah, it's always good to take these as early as you can. Yeah. Because you can you can fulfill the quotas along the way. Yeah. Right. Now we're Edward and Dan. I swear I've heard the name Edward. Dan is eluding me. Dan, I don't remember. Yeah, so I was saying earlier, if, if Matt holds up on the D-pad, uh, she will do a first JoJo pose. If you continue to hold <laughs> onto it, though, uh, she will do the second pose. But I only found that about the first time. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> For added effect, equip the stone mask. <laughs> but, uh, we I know what you're talking we, about. We didn't get that as a drop, so. We have to return to bring Dean into the other woman, too. What are you looking to buy? Yeah, high potions are pretty expensive. Clearly. But they are one of the best healing items of the game, besides the ultimate, like, crafted food. This high potion is great, but nothing beats the bean burrito. <laughs> right? <laughs> the pasta is now on sale here, too. So we can now, like, um... So we can, like, cook, in that, st so we can cook that stuff up, too. But again, everything is like an arm and a like here, so it's almost impossible to really keep doing this stuff repeatedly. Yeah, unless you grind money, unless you, uh, or at least you know a farming method. I do, but it's luck based, and I don't like doing it. <laughs> mm. The worst is when you gotta farm up gold. Yes. The best way I could think of doing it is grinding those underwater horses for their mace. Their mace immediately turns into gold if you can dismantle it. Oh, I see. Let's prepare something. Uh, we can make Chinese. Oh, we can at least get ingredients going. We'll the rest of it, I'm gonna have to form up. Just gonna be doing a lot of selective editing around this. He was studying ways to see. Who cares? I'll turn in the brigandine, then we'll get we'll cut back to the cathedral. Okay. I think our seeds should be ready at this point. They are ready. Yeah. Oh fuck. I finished the harvest. You took your sweet ass time. <laughs> you took your sweet ass time, am I? Shut up and take the potato seed. Take the potato seed. Sorry, I'm repeating you. How are you? All right, now here in Hong Kong, we are alive. For what it's it worth. seems that they have yeed their last ha. <laughs> this is it. I mean, it's a great looking hat. I could do without the blood stains though. <laughs> like but the wash the blood stained. But the <laughs> yeah, ritual of the night. Oh, I got bat wings too. I do have the bat wings. I, was, I just crafted them too. <laughs> <laughs> I just made this for me. <sighs> yeah. Chocolate cake. And Talia gets a Rava Boreal. Ooh, the Rava. Okay, well, that's not the weapon we're thinking about, but uh, you Shuffer. definitely want to hold on to one of those when you get... I mean, they're easy to drop later because uh, enemies... Uh, one An enemy, enemy will farm... I think uh, the Killer Barber drops them, actually. Uh, yes, he does. The Killer Barber will drop those uh, with good luck. And you want to hold on to one of them because they're, uh, they're a part of the recipe for the ultimate sword. Uh, and... Um, if Rava Barrio or something else? Uh, something. Uh, the, the, it's a, there's the a Rava, different Rava the, weapon. Yeah, yeah, that's 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 the weapon I'm talking about. You have to craft that with Johannes. That's a late game weapon, but it is. Uh, if you remember the Crusagum from Symphony of the Night, it's the exact same fucking weapon. Got another ten of my max HP and another plus. Ooh, plus two to my luck this time. Fuck yeah. Mm. Again, uh, first time you eat a food that is a first time bonus permanent stat upgrade. So make food when you can. It's not always feasible. I didn't do it a whole bunch. It rolled on with. But there is perks to it. Tell me, what exactly is the leader? We'll, we'll listen to this one at least. Well, it's a book. <laughs> <laughs> a book. Thanks. D. Fuck him. Enochian. 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 <laughs> but demons are not good spirits. 
power is powerful. Power is powerful. If you can summon good spirits, and all it takes is some changes to the structure of the right to summon something else entirely. I suppose that makes Why would we do that? <laughs> Key researchers come up with some wild ideas. <laughs> you researchers, you. When was the last time you kicked a candle and five dollars just dropped out of it? Uh, just oh, now. I Hello. Suppose you have a point, but That's Zengetsu. We're done talking. I must go. Hi, where's your sword? Yo. Body partner. Okay. We're not no, you know who he looks like? I who, who was the character you play as in Lords of Shadow? Oh, uh, uh, Gabriel Valmont. Gabriel. Gabriel. Yeah. That's what he looks like. He does look it. Because he has the same color the scheme and he has the same face. Is there yes. Hair's different, though. Gabriel had long hair. Yeah, but even then, it's like... Something irresistible. The pizza, I believe. Give me the pizza. <laughs> EAT THE FUCKING PIZZA! <laughs> Calm down, Elliot. <laughs> no, it's Miriam. <laughs> oh. Now we need the uh, fried, fried food. Finger food. Fried, fried finger food. Yeah, give me the fries. french fries and ketchup dip. <laughs> there you go. Pretty sure that was something that was available. <laughs> oh, I love me some burger. Mm. Everything looks bigger. Yep, close mode. Close up mode. Yeah, the glass. The uh, the uh, the the googly eyes. No, not the googly. The swirly eyes. Right. It does increase the size of the screen. Like it it, it zooms in on the screen. I don't think I could dig this. Uh, I can't either. No, it's cosmetic. I I turned it off immediately. I after can't do I it. About it I couldn't. I couldn't do that. Yeah, we're not going to. I just I just wanted to show it off. I think there's one that also zooms the screen out. There is. I love this one. Get out of here, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Although I look like a goddamn mess. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we're going to call it a part for now, though. All right. We'll All see right. you guys back at the cathedral. Baby, <laughs> don't you know I love you? <laughs> I love that fucking <laughs> Wait a minute. This sounds like rock and, and or roll. roll.